Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, I'm Tess Lark, and this is an art and beauty channel. So if those are videos you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed because I'm here for you every single week. And this week, I've got another crafting video for you, and I'm gonna show you how to make these floral resin coasters. So this is a really easy project, it's definitely suitable for beginners, and you can use any color combinations you'd like. I actually have a couple different videos on here making similar floral coasters in both red and blue, um, and so I will link those down below. As well as all the materials that I'm using today, I will also link those below, so if you want to try any of them for yourself, they'll be right there. And let's just hop right into this video. So to save some time, I pre-mixed my resin. I'm just using a two-part epoxy resin by Naked Fusion resin and I'll go ahead and list all the materials that I use down below so if anybody is interested they will be down in the description and easy for you to find. For this project I'm just going to pour a little bit of resin to mix with my glitter because I want to have a nice chunky glitter to put in the center of the flowers and I'm also going to be mixing up some white because I want the petals to be white but you could use whatever color you wanted to make your flowers. Um, I've done blue and red before and actually have videos on both if you're interested. I will link those as well. And then I'm just starting with the glitter here. And like I said, you want to keep the glitter nice and chunky just so it doesn't spread too much throughout your coaster. For my white pigment, I'm going to be using a mixture of pinata colors in their alcohol ink and also a uh, powdered pigment by Perlex that has this really lovely kind of translucent blue glittery tint to it. It's hard to explain, but it's really beautiful. Next up, I pour roughly 50 milliliters of resin into each coaster, and then I will start making the floral design. As you can see here, I just put my white in a regular Ziploc bag, and I'm going to be using this as a piping bag to make circles, essentially, that I will then drag in with a popsicle stick to make a petal pattern. But before starting with that, I will just use my heat gun and pop any of the bubbles that have risen to the surface. And I'm starting out by laying my gold down because that's going to be the center of the flowers. And so around the gold, I will make rings with the white and then pull it into the center to make petals. I'm also trying to offset where the rings start because if you can see it leaves a little bit of a blob and sometimes you can see that in the finished product. I try to also, when I'm going in to make the petal patterns, get those blobs into the center so they don't look so distinguished in the finished product, but it just helps the coaster look more organic overall. And then I'll use my heat gun just to kind of blend those petals together so there's not as much negative space and it also helps to pop the bubbles. Alright, so I went ahead and let my coasters set up overnight and we'll just pull them out of the molds and see how they turn out. From the back they look really pretty. They came out so nice.
I think these are really beautiful and I'm super happy with how they turned out. And then now just to finish them up, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little border. Sometimes I sand the back of my coasters if there's a sharp lip on them, but on these ones there's a very small lip, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip the sanding step, especially because after I put little rubber feet on them, you're not really gonna be able to tell at all and it's not gonna be an issue. Next up, I'm gonna use a gold paint pen just to go around the outside edge and make a little border on the top of these. And I'm just using the Deco Color Premium paint pen. And I'll just use some wax paper to set down on my desk before I do this so I don't get any paint on my desk. And after the paint dries on the sides of the coasters, they are finished. Sometimes I'll put little rubber feet on the back of them, um, which I will be doing with these two. Uh, I just buy them on bulk, on Amazon, and they just make it so the coasters won't scratch up any surface that they're laying on. But I'm really happy with how these turned out. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really hope that you consider subscribing so we can craft together again soon. Oh, I also have these coasters for sale on my Etsy. It's at FragileBeings.com if you want to check out what I have up for grabs. And I will see you next week. Bye.